Hi and welcome to this Procre class. This is a part of the DDMC, which is Digital Drawing Masterclass. All right, let's look at the overview of this place. This is a very important place. This is gallery. So when you click on gallery, you go back to the gallery. All right, when you click on this, you open the file. This is the wrench tool. This is really important. This, when you open it, this opens. So the first thing is add. So you say add, insert a file. It's similar to that, but you insert a file into this. So for example, if I want to insert this file, this file gets inserted here. Double tap for undo. Okay, those are really important. Actually, it's really funny. Um, after I got into drawing and stuff, double tap became so like regular for me that I started double tapping in life. Okay, so I'd be writing something with my pen and I'll be double tapping on the paper. Like, why is it not changing? If that happens to you, you're totally addicted. Um, so getting back to this, um, add, insert file, insert photo. So if you want to insert a photo, then whatever photos you want to insert, you can insert. Okay, then take a photo. If you want access to your camera, I don't, but leave it access, no problem. So that would be insert file insert photo take a photo add text add text is really important normally i do it in the end but um this is how you add text then the text will come and then you write it whatever color here is here in the corner that's the color that will come so for example if i put it make it black make it red this is like really handy so right now let's make it red so we've added text if i click on this and click here this is the keyboard this is the this is the font choice so these are all the fonts that you get to choose what you want to do if you want a big size you want a small size you want opacity you want um, side middle right justified caps underline all that is there okay so hello how are you comes here and so you type it straight in the keyboard place. If you want to type with your pencil, there are provisions to do that too. Uh, here you can select all if you want to select all. You can make it vertical. You can um, not make it vertical. You can cut clear. And here is where you change the font. So as you can see, I'm changing the font. Okay. So And you can change the size. And we say done. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory in that way. This is where you add text. This is for cut. Okay, this is for paste. <laughs> this is for copy, and this is for paste. Now you can't see that you've you've pasted it, uh, but I have pasted it. Ha ha ha! Magic. Okay, that of course I'll explain. All right, so cut, copy, paste is all here. This is your first section in the wrench tool. Next, you go to canvas, which has number one, crop and resize. So for example, if you're like, ah, I don't want it so big, I want it like this, okay? I want it this way. If you see here, the layers are getting increased. So now let's make it, let's make it smaller, right? Or we'll just make it like this size. Okay. you can click done and now I've changed it to a more landscape mode after this is animation assist now I'm telling you what animation assist is but we'll look at it more in detail when we come to that level but a lot of this is more advanced animation assist is when you are ready to make your own animations this is what you click and you will get this kind of it'll be like a timeline which you have to do your animations in don't worry about this today we're just looking at an overview of what this app has okay so shut that down page assist is again uh, similar to that again advanced uh, but we will look at that later drawing guide is important um, so basically drawing guide gives you uh, options of grid we see edit drawing guide then here you will be given 2D isometric perspective. So perspective is like you tap a vanishing point, which is pretty good because 
and then you can draw on the vanishing point only thing is once you tap it you have to say done for it to so like if you're if you want to draw a house right this is the worst house you can imagine and you want the house to be in line right then you'll have to follow the grid right if you want the house to disappear okay this is like the worst maybe it has to be a train because a house would never be like that <laughs> okay so if you're drawing a train then again funny train okay so rubbing it with three fingers is what kind of resets the what you've done okay it kind of deletes it so drawing guide is like that going drawing guide gives you perspective um, you have to choose the vanishing point for that uh, if you have a, if you click on assisted drawing it restricts your movement so you can only move in the direction oops i made it white be careful with this this is what you change the color so if i want a red orange so i can't draw anything but the perspective see even if i want to draw a circle i can't because i have to be in keeping with the horizon and the perspective this is nice because it helps you um, when you're planning to do some landscape or whatever like what whatever dynamic amazing thing you're planning to do okay so that's there symmetry is what is like amazing as well uh, it is basically again I keep messing around with this symmetry is when you draw it helps when you want to draw like a butterfly so that's great for symmetry if you want to draw a house that's exactly the same whatever so you get what I'm saying so symmetry is symmetry it, it gives you a mirrored uh, drawing effect then in symmetry you have if you go down to and opacity is the line visibility thickness is the line thickness so if you go thin or thick options is when you want vertical symmetry horizontal symmetry quadrant so that'll be four points and radial which will be more points and rotational so like for example when you want to do wreaths and um, like decoration items then you say done you have to press done like for example you this is the kind of stuff you can do with rotational symmetry okay so this is like super fun it's fun to play with hello thank you okay so that is a drawing guide symmetry options radial rotational rotational is basically move around assisted drawing is that it will help you if you don't have want that then radial will be just uh, different okay it'll just give you a guide but it won't help you so a lot of people just use that as a reference right if you don't want this you can close this okay references when you click on reference it a window pops up which you can move around wherever you want and this will give you an option of like for example if you want to draw something you have an option of uh, reflecting the canvas you have an option of an image so if I want to draw this right so then that gives me this picture and then I can draw this picture here so that's how it works I don't want reference right now but it's quite handy if you put it back since you're in the file it remembers what your reference was and then if you want to for example change your reference you just have to switch it off switch it back on and then change it if you want face if you want canvas if you want image basically that references that okay flip horizontal now you can't see this because there's no background but flip horizontal will be flipping the your art 
flip vertical flips your canvas this is canvas okay canvas information again you can sign your name you can know when this was created you can know the dimensions layers like layers used layers available layer masks assisted layers all this then this also tells you your profiles your video settings and your statistics so I like this it's quite fun this is how many strokes I've made how many minutes I've drawn and this file size is 2 MB which is like fantastic so that's for canvas so we've gone through canvas okay now is the share button which is really important after you finished a drawing you uh, can share it as appropriate file which you can mean either share it with somebody else or share like create a backup on your hard drive PSD takes it ooh, no 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 PSD is Photoshop so PSD takes it to your computer or your iPad and so you can open it up um, with the layers that you've made in Procreate so for example if you have like 20 layers then the layers will be exported onto PSD. It's, it's really cool. I really like that, that it's exported uh, as the layers. Okay, so that's PSD. PDF is PDF, JPEG, PNG, TIFF. These are all file formats that you save it with. I, as a rule of thumb, always export it as PNG, whether it's transparent or not, because I like having a, a heavier file, uh, like in file. Um, then again, if you have layers, then you can share a PDF. Again, layers, PNG. This comes when you, you've started animating. You can export it as an animated GIF, PNG, MP4, or HEVC, which is again an un uncompressed Apple version of a file. Right? So that's your share elements. Video element, again, like I um, talked about you've chosen your quality of video you you want it studio or good i've chosen good and 1080p you can see your replay so this was my replay so that was my replay and um, sorry and whether i want it recorded so some people don't like their artwork being recorded especially like if you're making papers to sell or um artwork or you know if you don't want it you can switch this off and this is of course for exporting so if you want to export you have an option of 30 seconds which will be again a compressed version or a full length I generally do full length and then you can choose it to your software which you want to edit with whether it's uh, iMovie or Video Leap I use Video Leap but yeah all right now I don't want this time lapse so I'm going to close this this will ask me do you want to purge the video purge or don't purge so if you suddenly change your mind then you say don't purge I want to purge because I don't want this time lapse so that's done right that was video if you put this back it'll, it'll do the recording again again in the same mode of good and 1080p go to preference preference is basically your interface like how you'd like it if you'd want a light interface so it's not in dark mode or a dark interface if you want a right hand interface or a left hand interface so this would be like I've put an in uh, the I've put the interface on the right because I'm left-handed and I use my right hand to move the color drop and all that so I use both hands to uh, work at it so it's called the right hand interface. If you want it in the left, then this moves, this moves here. So I've put it on the other side because I like it on the other side. Okay, so I'm changing it back. Brush cursor, you actually, in the beginning, you don't have to worry about this, but I'm just going through all this. Brush cursor, dynamic brush. I actually haven't gone through all these things in detail because I leave it as default because once you start messing around with it, you you may not know how to get back to default. So this is connect to a legacy stylus, uh, pressure and smoothing, gesture, con gesture controls again is a little more advanced. So I would say stay away from this section because it is um, it can get technical. So get at it 
even after a year and a half of doing this i haven't really got into this section that much because i'm happy with the settings of but if you want to play around then go ahead and play around with this this kind of tells you which style is uh, this is your pressure and smoothing and uh, gesture controls tells you you can create shortcuts with this like a smudge erase a stitch drawing all these things will be explained to later um yes so that's and then help of course is if you want to restore purchases advanced settings what's new the handbook this is again really nice software um information if you want to use okay so that's your wrench in uh for procreate